Hey guys, welcome to the ninth C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the switch statement. And the switch statement is basically just an alternative to if and else. So all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button and a text box. And once you have it on your form, just go ahead and double click on it. Alright, so to create a switch statement, you're just going to want to type the keyword switch. And then following that, you're going to want to have two parentheses. And inside of these parentheses is where you're going to want to type um, what you're checking. And we're going to be checking text box one's text. So we're just going to put text box one's text inside of there. And then you're just going to want to put two curly braces. And inside of these curly braces is where you're going to want to create all of your cases. And I'm just going to go ahead and create a case and then explain what it is. So I'm going to do a case. And then... Okay, so basically what this is right here is it just says case Adam and this is basically like saying if text box one's text equals Adam then after this colon we're just gonna put what we want it to do and we're just gonna have a message box show saying hello so we're just gonna say hello alright and then in every um, case you're just gonna wanna put break following it and there are instances where you may wanna put something different but we're not gonna learn it in this tutorial so just put break after every case at the bottom so what break basically does is it just breaks out of the switch statement. So if you had multiple cases right here, it would just um, say if it's Adam and then if it is, it'll do this code and then following that, it'll just break out of the switch statement and stop uh, checking the other cases. So let's just go ahead here and make sure that this works. So if we put text box one's text as Adam and click the button, we should get a message box saying hello. Yep. And if we put something else like G, nope, we don't get it. All right, and you can have multiple cases, as many cases as you want. So if we had another case here, like case Bob, then we're just gonna have a message box show saying yo, so yo. And then of course we need to have that break in there, so we're just gonna do break. And now I can really explain break more. So if uh, text box one's text was Adam, it would say, all right, let's do this code right here. It's going to have a message box show. And then following that, it's just going to break out of the switch statement. So it would just go down here. It wouldn't even check Bob because text box one's text can't be Bob and Adam. It can only be one of the two. All right, so after doing this code, it'll just break out of this switch statement and go down here. All right, so let's just go ahead and make sure that this works here. If we do Adam, we should get a message box saying hello. Yep, if we do Bob, we should get something called yo instead of message box. Yep, perfect. And in switch statements, the default or the else would just be default. You just type default right there. And then just put a colon following that. And then whatever you want it to defaultly do. So if both of these aren't true, so if text box one's text isn't Adam and it's not Bob, then it'll just do the default. And we're just going to have a message box show saying your name isn't important. So your name isn't important. And then of course we need to break, so we're just going to do break. Alright, so let's just go ahead and make sure that this works here. Go ahead and type Adam in, we get hello. If we do um, Bob inside of here, we should get yo. And if we do anything besides Bob and Adam, we should just get your name isn't important. Yep, your name isn't important. Alright, and you can do this with really any data type, so if you wanted to do like int i equals 5, then what you could do is switch i and then check to see what i's value is. So case um, if i equals 4, then we're just going to have a message box show saying you're too young. You're too young. And then we got a break of course. And then um, case um, 16 message box show saying you can drive all right and let's just put i equal to 16 i guess and of course we have to break okay so yeah this is basically just going to check to see if i is 4 and if it's 4 we're just going to get a message box saying you're too young if it's 16 we're just going to get a message box saying you can drive all right so let's just go ahead and see if this works here Yep, we get you can drive because i is equal to 16. If we set it equal to 4, then 
Uh, we get a message box saying you're too young because of this case right there. Yep, and if we were to put a default in, um, default, it would just do this if your age isn't 14, or I mean 4 or 16. So we'll just get a message box saying your age isn't relevant. So your age isn't relevant. I don't know how to spell it, but. And then we just need to break out of there, just like with everything else. So for every case, and even for the default, you need to have break at the end of it. Let's just make sure that this works here. I is four, so we're gonna get year too young. Now, if we change it to uh, anything besides four or sixteen, we're just gonna get your age isn't relevant. Yep. All right. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial on using the switch statement. So see you guys.